Hi, my name is Dan Edwards, and I'm sharing the coloring process from an image from my book, Mr. McFrawley's Traveling Show. I draw these images by hand, bring them into Flash, and do the cleanup process in there. I work as an illustrator, but I also do a lot of work as a Flash animator, so I find it's easier just to keep everything in the same program, and that gives me a lot of flexibility as to what I can do with my files. All this coloring is done in Flash. Generally, I just flood fill with one gradient after I have everything cleaned up, and then I go in and pick out highlights and lowlights, basically tinting that gradient that I already put down. If you look over to the right-hand side, you can see the gradient tool working. I'll just select the exact same gradient I was using before, but pick out a higher highlight and a higher low light, and then the gradient becomes lighter. When I go to pick out a highlight, I'll fill in an area, make it a gray or whatever, and then use the pen tool to separate that area out, lighten it up, and there you have a highlight. When you remove the pen line, you can see the result. The image of Bix set over to the side is just a color sample that I'm building from. The scene this image comes from, and the scene I'm currently coloring, both have a pretty general lighting, so I can use it as a color key to work from. I try to keep most of the colors muted, with some really bold lighting, and occasionally a really strong bright color. That way the palette always stays interesting, but keeps some of the gothic elements that I've been having fun with with these illustrations. This is the main character of the book, named Bix Spiderbeck. Uh, Bix was the first character I came up with for the book, but I didn't realize he was for this book. Actually, I just found him in a sketchbook when I started the process of working on the story. When I started writing a book about circus freaks and how it's okay to be different, I thought, hey, a zombie boy is about as different as it gets. Uh, at first, I was worried about how tonally he might appear for a book that's supposed to appeal to all ages. And then I realized that the character is so... He's so happy with who he is, any reservations I had went out the window. Um, Bix has the uh, exposed skeleton side of his head, and then also he has slightly greenish pallor. For this book, I tried to have the environment not quite belong to any era. So I like the fact that Bix has a bit of a 1950s look with his hair... I also really get a kick out of bringing in old cartooning conventions, so I use the old Pac-Man eyes to make him a little bit more of a throwback to the early Mickey Mouse cartoons and cartoons from that era. As you can see, while the character stays relatively complex, I've decided to keep Bix's clothes very simple. I want to make sure that all of the focus goes to the character. This is a time lapse at 2000% the normal speed. Um, I've done time lapses before, but never with a tutorial, but I thought it might help to share a little bit of the thoughts that go behind it. I've tried to keep it quick, so I haven't been able to give too much information, but hopefully it gives you a bit of an insight in the process that helped create the characters you see in the book, Mr. McFrawley's Traveling Show. If you're interested in seeing a copy of the book for yourself, they're available at dsedwards.com. 